But this is a, a management, self-management description. Self-management self brings organizational structure to an enterprise spontaneously. So self-management brings organizational structure to an enterprise spontaneously. <clears throat> then go on to elaborate a little bit. Individual colleagues directed by their personal commercial mission. So mission is very key to this. Are principally responsible. So the individuals in the organization are principally responsible for organizing their relationships and activities. Versus others' management. And I did want to, with Isaac, get into what he means, what his issue is with management. But uh, I consider those two kinds of management others' management and self management. So this is self management, and, and, and folks, folks in the organization, they're the ones that drive their relationships, which form the structure of the organization. So the functions of what I learned in business school, I just remember POSDC, and it's planning, organizing, staffing, directing, and controlling, are the principal responsibilities of each colleague, not of, of the managers. Beyond that, I wrote some things here, so it may be broken, but uh, uh, I'll give you what I, uh, another description I just wrote up this morning, just because it's just a little different. Uh, not really, but uh, as, as, a, as a definition. But self-management is a system of principles which guide the development of organizational structure effectively and efficiently in a way which liberates and encourages human creativity, initiative, and actions with the objective of resulting in improved human happiness. So that's what I consider self-management. 